Hello, sir. How are you today? Excellent, excellent. Yes, and first and foremost, happy birthday. Ha <laughs> ha, thank you. I can legally drink now. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, now, your film tonight, I Want My Name Back. Yes. Now, I know that it kind of revolves around uh, some of the career struggles of the Sugar Hill Gang over the past, you know, exactly. past few years. Tell us a little bit about making this documentary. The documentary came about, we were tired of uh, people telling our story on these little snippets on these music shows, and we had to get it out and, and uh, have, it, have it come from the source. And uh, a, a guy named uh, Robert Paradiso, he was the director, he worked on like City by the Sea, uh, uh, Moonstruck, all these movies, and uh, he, he just asked to tell the story, and it evolved. There's no embellishment, there's no you know exaggeration. Everything is straight from the hip, and we uh, kept it that way. And it's about our struggle, Master G struggle, and my struggle with Sugar Hill Records, in terms of the money and and and, and a whole lot of other things. And it's like the little guy against the big against a big corporation. Yeah. And how did you hook up with the director to you know go about making this documentary? Uh, we were introduced to Roger by our manager, um, uh, Ed Albowitz, and uh, it was just a good fit. Mm -hmm. Roger, he said, go, action, and we would just speak. Mm -hmm. And uh, it turned out, I think it turned out good. See, the name of the doc is called I Want My Name Back, and it goes along with what's happening in the world, in this country. People want their jobs back their homes back, their cars that, they, that, that we're losing, uh, even though the economy is turning around now. But uh, it's, that's really the story. Yeah. And so what are you hoping that audiences will take from this documentary and what they will learn from what you've, what you've gone through? Uh, it's a struggle. Like I said, the little guy against the uh, a really formidable uh, foe. And what I, what I would like people to take away from it is don't give up. When you have you seen the doc yet? No, I haven't. I haven't just yet, but I would really like to. When when you see it, people well, when people have seen it, they always really empathize. They get mad, they cry, they laugh, they get entertained with the music, and they're informed on a mega level. And uh, people really empathize. Uh, some of the fans afterwards were coming. Are you okay? Are you, everything all right now? And it's 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 really a heart wrenching story, mm -hmm. but we're on the upswing Good. because they mess with the wrong guys. Yeah. we don't give up. <laughs> That's right. Um, now tell us how it felt being part of such an influential group that really helped to bring hip hop to the mainstream. Well, when we were forming the group and recording Rappers Delight. During that recording, I had a feeling this was history in the making because hip hop was large in New York and New Jersey. And I figured if we put out a good song here and someone in St. Louis, Dallas, Denver, LA hears it, they're gonna groove to it too. Yeah. And no telling where it could go from there. So that's what happened. And uh, it, it, was really the cool, it was really cool to be uh, there at the right time. Yeah. Did you have any idea that Rapper's Delight was going to become such an iconic song? Yes. Oh, <laughs> I thought I, you knew. <laughs> in 1964, I saw A Hard Day's Night. I was seven years old, and these guys are up there singing these cool, catchy songs, and the girls are screaming. I said, wow, that's an interesting career choice. Yeah. But uh, I've, I had a feeling, my mother always said, when it's true, it's confidence. When it's not, it's just bragging, you know, and lies. But I always thought that it just, it, it had a good chance. Yeah. Uh, the odds were really in the favor, in favor of the song. Because it was a catchy song, and nobody had ever heard of hip hop, uh, except for, you know, the tri-state area, Connecticut, New York, and New Jersey. Very nice. Well, I mean, I'm sure it's, you know, it was just so amazing to have it blow up the way that it did and oh. make you, you know, you and the group that you were a part of, the legends that, that you are now. Tell us, have you ever been to the Newport Beach Film Festival before? No, this is the first time and wow, I'm glad to be here. It's, it's, it's beautiful here. I got my brothers here. I haven't seen them in about eight years mm -hmm. and uh, we're just hanging out and the film festival 
this one has run like this. Some of them run like machines, uh -huh. and some of them were chaotic, which I like. Yeah. Give me the, you know, give me the, the entertainment action. frenzy, <laughs> and and thinking on your feet, and and, and I like all that. Mm -hmm. But it's really, it's really good to be here. I've been looking forward to it for a long time. Good, yeah, because I understand you've been taking this film around, kind of the the film circuit all around the country. Anywhere, uh, anywhere else notable? We've uh, we've been to Toronto. We performed after the Toronto showing. Mm -hmm. We went to Chicago. It's it's played in Minneapolis, Cleveland. Uh, we're trying to get in in uh, Oakland and, and uh, Seattle. Uh, it's it played in Austin. Uh, we're all over with Great. this thing. Good. Well, we are streaming live right now to the Newport Beach Film Festival Facebook page. So we have some viewers out here uh, that are watching, and I'm sure they'd like to have you say hello. Is there any way that we could have you give us a little bit of sample of Rapper's Delight? Maybe just a bar or two. Uh, the check, check. <laughs> oh, I see. All right, That's all right. Not, no, no, Fair no, no, enough. No. <laughs> I said a hip hop, the hip hip, the hip 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 hop. You don't stop. Now what you hear is not a test. I'm a rapper to the funky beat, uh, and me, the groove, and my friends are gonna try to move your feet, cause it's the one to midnight in the house and the place to be. You heard Newport Beach Film Festival. Al, what's up? Yes, that was awesome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Thank Mike. You. It was great meeting you. you Thank too. you for talking to us. Have a great time at your premiere Thank and you, enjoy Mike. the rest of your week here in Newport Beach. Thank you. <laughs>